Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another speed build. So today we are building what I'm probably going to call. I haven't 100% um, officially confirmed that this is the exact official name, but it's probably going to be something to do with modern no 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 not modern oh my gosh oh wrong so wrong this is not modern um <clears throat> oasis family home or oasis family paradise or something it's a family home it's one story it's a pretty big house but i love how it turned out because uh it's so pretty. I just, I have been dying for a long time to build a Mediterranean style house here in Oasis Springs. I honestly can't say that I've ever built one on my channel, period. I've never, yeah, I've never built one. <laughs> um, and I've tried a few times and I just c can't do it. I couldn't do it. So I'm very impressed with how this one turned out. Um, it's a pretty big house voiceover videos kind of long so was my last speed build and I promised myself I was going to do bigger houses <laughs> but with bigger houses come longer voiceovers which really sucks but um, I just I feel like I've really had a lot of smaller builds and I wanted to do a bigger and something just different outside of my comfort zone a little bit which not that big houses or family houses are outside of my comfort zone. They're actually my favorite type of houses to build. Um, I just feel like I, I'm always in a rush <laughs> for my channel when it comes to building and stuff. And I kind of just opt for these smaller houses because I know it won't take me as long. But I wanted to challenge myself and do things that I haven't done before. Hence this Mediterranean family home. And I absolutely adore how it turned out. Like I said, it's pretty spacious. Um, it's a big house, but it's <clears throat> our floor plan is very different. It's kind of unique in a way. I kind of really dig it. <laughs> uh, but I like how it's big, but it's not too big. And y'all know I say it all the time. I don't like a lot of space. I don't like a lot of extra room. So don't be intimidated by how big this house is. It is technically a four bedroom. Well, it's three bedrooms. I have it furnished for three. But there is a study that you could convert into a, another bedroom if you have to. And when you walk in, there is like a little bitty foyer. And you'll see in just a second. But there is like a seating area. Um, and I think that if you wanted to use this house for four bedrooms, you know, bigger family, you could definitely take some of that office stuff or, you know, whatever you need for your sim skill building and you can take it and put it there in the sitting room and kind of like delete the sitting room if you wanted to. But I thought the sitting room was really nice and added a nice little touch to it. But anyways, this house uses a lot of jungle stuff uh, from the pack. I used a lot of that landscaping that came with that and I think it's so lush and it's so tropical and I don't know it just kind of gives me tropical vibes hence you know we have supposedly <laughs> it hasn't been officially announced yet but we do have supposedly a tropical pack coming so I thought this build was perfect I'm not really sure how this is going to fit in with the new world from you know the leaks that I've seen it's actually going to be based kind of like a uh, Hawaii style home so I imagine beach homes not really sure if it'll be like these Mediterranean style houses but I could be wrong we'll see I'm very excited to see what the world's gonna look like oh my gosh I'm so excited to have a new world y'all uh, I just get so bored like well uh, I don't know it's not like I get bored I just always want something new don't we all <laughs> but anyways um, the reason why I may call this something to do with paradise is because the back porch and backyard area is to die for. It's probably like, honestly, my dream house is a farmhouse. I'm just a country girl. I, I want to live on a lot of land and a big, pretty farmhouse um, or, you know, farmhouse inspired. And I want, you know, to raise my kids out there, a lot of land, um, a lot of stuff to do outside. But, uh, 
my goodness, this house right here, this yard. It's like my dream vacation home, maybe, I guess you would say. I mean, if I was to live somewhere like in Florida or where these meridian meridian style houses are popular, um, I definitely would, wouldn't complain because I really do love how tropical they are because I do like the beach. Um, I don't like the beach. So I'm not like a crazy person about the beach. I don't get in the water, fun fact. <laughs> hate the water, terrified of the water. Uh, what is that phobia called? I don't know, but that is me. I'm terrified of the water, and I live about 30 minutes away from an island off of the Gulf of Mexico, uh, so it's not that far. I never go to that beach, actually, because the water is not very pretty there, but I also live about an hour away from Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, Alabama, and... <clears throat> I absolutely love to go there. If you go further down to the Florida side, the water is absolutely beautiful, and I don't like to get in it, but I like to chill out on the beach and just take in the scenery and the breeze and just enjoy summertime, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think I could live in a place where it's that hot all the time, which I live an hour away, and it's hot down here in the South. I know a lot of people <laughs> always talk about how the South hot is different than, like, the Northern hot summer months because, yeah, it may be hot up there, but, like, it is hell down here, and it's got a lot to do with humidity because... I guess because we're so close to the water or where we are on the globe. I'm not really sure how that geography works. But it is humid to the point where, like, you cannot breathe. It is absolutely miserable. And let me just use that topic as, you know, a little little opportunity to ramble here. Uh, since this is a long speed build. But since we're talking about how hot it is and the humidity, let me just tell y'all about my previous past two weeks okay so as most of you know i am pregnant i'm eight months pregnant okay and i just told y'all how hot it is <laughs> well me and my boyfriend was in my car which my car is a 2017 i bought a brand new i mean i haven't had any problems with it but anyways we was leaving i think we was going to eat or something and it just the air just out of nowhere stopped blowing cold air and i was like oh no this ain't good. <laughs> I was like, I can't, I can't breathe. So we ended up having to turn the air conditioner off and turn or roll the windows down because the breeze from outside was cooler than the air blowing in my car. So I was thinking, okay, maybe it'll work tomorrow or <laughs> maybe if I crank it back up when we leave this food place, it'll be fine. Uh, no, it was still hot. And uh, my boyfriend was like, well, you know, you could probably just add some Freon to it. But I was like, no, you know, my car is brand new. I don't think it should be that. Um, but it is covered under warranty. So I'm going to call them and get in. Well, I called my car dealership and they told me that they couldn't see me for three weeks y'all three weeks and I was like okay and I hung up and I was like that's stupid <laughs> you know that's a long time to go in a hot car so I was like you know what whatever maybe they're busy who knows I don't know well the next day I ended up having to go somewhere and it was so hot I couldn't breathe I'm pregnant I'm sweating like it's miserable so I get PO'd like I'm pissed off riding in this hot car and I call them back and I'm like hey look y'all told me that y'all couldn't see me for three weeks but let me tell you something okay that's not gonna work okay I'm eight months pregnant and I don't think I have to tell you how hot it is. I cannot be driving around with no air conditioner. You have to see me as soon as possible. Please, for the love of God, please. And the girl was like, okay, hold on, let me call my manager. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, okay. All right. So she comes back on and she's like, can you be here in the morning? And I'm like, okay, yeah. It's like, you know, go me. <laughs> and so I take my car down there that morning and he's like, okay, um, we're going to look at it and give you a call and let you know. So, I ended up coming back home. They called me about three hours later, and they told me that it is covered under warranty and that they do have to replace the air compressor or something like that. I don't know. I don't know much about cars. 
And I was like, okie dokie. And he was like, well, the only bad thing is the part is not in, so we have to order it. So I took my car in on a Thursday, and he told me that it should be ready by Monday, maybe. Um, they'll have to get it in over the weekend. So Monday comes, I call, and he's like, oh, well, guess what? Monday was Memorial Day part didn't come in like we thought uh well, it'll be ready tomorrow we already you know checked it it's coming tomorrow and i'm like okay cool great N call back next day oh no the part hasn't come in yet it'll be ready tomorrow for about f a week that was the same conversation we kept having they just kept lying to me the part wasn't in anyways two weeks later i finally got my car back but it took me having to you know have my dad called on there in raise hill my boyfriend and just kind of like stay on him about it and like kind of like I'm not even gonna lie my dad cussed him out a few times but I mean that's ridiculous you know they first off they were straight up lying to my face you know over the phone just lying to me dragging it out because my car was covered under warranty so it wasn't a priority um, but thankfully the manager his wife is actually pregnant <laughs> I'm actually friends with her on Facebook but anyways She's eight months pregnant, too, and he was like, I, I cannot believe that this has happened, and there's no excuse for it. I'm going to see to it that it gets fixed. You should not be riding around in a hot car. You can't not have a car. So, anyways, he got it fixed, and that's my little fun story about my car situation. And, you know, that took a good chunk of our time here, even though you probably didn't care anything about that. But, you know, since we are furnishing and building this nice little summer looking oasis home i just you know we just got off on that tangent about the heat so i just wanted to share so thank you for listening if you're still here but anyways i do have my car back they was nice enough to wash it for me so it was all shiny when i got it back <laughs> and my air worked so hallelujah but it is hot down here <laughs> Um, but anyways, yeah, what? <laughs> I was talking about how I wouldn't want to live anywhere hot, and then here I am telling you how hot it is, but no, for real. <clears throat> I just, more of a country person. I want land, but this, you know, this style house is very pretty, <laughs> and I would definitely like to live here, and it just reminds me of, you know, going to the beach and a beach home, and I've been in a lot of beach houses, you know, spring break and everything, and most of the houses that we rent, some of them, you know, I've been to Florida, and some of them are Mediterranean style houses, and they're just so beautiful, and I love this style house, but anyways, back to the actual build here. <laughs> As you can see, we are furnishing it, and anyways, you see the nice little sitting area I was talking about, I believe I already furnished that, but anyways, like I said, if you wanted to use the study as a bedroom, you could probably just get rid of that, um, add a desk there or whatever, you know, like I said, skill building items that your sims need but i just love that little sitting area and what i love about this house is that it's kind of fancy in a way it's just you can tell these sims have money i mean they gotta have a good job to live here uh but it's also like very family ish and cozy i mean okay it's not really cozy but it's very like family ish like I don't know does that make sense probably not <laughs> but anyways the kitchen um I'm, I'm gonna have to play test it so if I upload it to the gallery and the kitchen looks a little bit different it's because you couldn't use any of these cabinets <laughs> to cook I realized that this is a pretty big house but the kitchen area here uh, was kind of small there's not a lot of cabinet space and I did want to include that big island right there with the pillars I just felt like it fit, fit the aesthetic of this home so nicely but Anyways, right here, it's just kind of like awkward shaped, and I just didn't really think to leave uh, a cabinet open for your Sims to, like, prepare their meals. Um, they probably would go to the other side of the island to do that, which honestly would bother me in my gameplay if they did that. So, I will play test it and see if um, they're able to use that cabinet on the other side of the sink above the dishwasher. Um, so I may switch some things around um, and like leave a cabinet blank for you guys. Uh, so if anything's different, that's why. But I did add the double stove right to the middle right here. And I really didn't like how you could see the vents on the back. So I ended up 
adding this like, little table and making it look like a shelf, uh, which I think is actually really cute. And I was going to add some clutter to it, uh, like some spices and stuff, but it just looked really busy. And so I decided against it, you know, they'll just keep all that in the cabinets. You know, I just didn't want to clutter it up too, too bad. But then as you saw, I had that little nook over there in the corner like a little breakfast table, which I think is so cute. Obviously, that bench there is not functional. It doesn't function like actual dining chairs. But there is a dining room, you know, right across the hall that I think is so pretty. And I love the archway entry of it. I just think it is so pretty. And then over here in this little corner is the family room. So there is kind of like two living rooms. There is the like formal living room, which is the sitting area when you first walked in. And then right here, this is where the family kind of hangs out with their cozy couches. I gave them a TV entertainment center and I think I gave them, yeah, I did give them like a gaming console because I did imagine that the family that lives here is two adult Sims. I don't imagine that they would be young adults because like I said, this house is pretty freaking massive. It's pretty expensive. I haven't uploaded it to the gallery, so I haven't really checked the final price on it, but yeah, it's it's going to cost you some mother loading <laughs> unless you already have pretty wealthy uh, Sims. I just imagine that the parents of this house are very successful and uh, they worked really hard to get to where they're at now to have this nice of a house and this nice of like a backyard and it's just very very nice you know it's very nice <laughs> so i imagine that since they are adults and they're a little bit older and they've kind of worked hard to get where they're at that they do have a teenager and so i furnished the house for a teenage boy and then i furnished the other bedroom for a girl like a child um but yeah i don't know I just think that this is like the perfect little family home i think it's perfect for the teenage son and the little girl herself if they wanted to have friends over i mean this house is probably the party spot it's probably where all of his friends want to hang out and when i get to his room you'll see i made it a little bit sporty where he's into sports i can maybe see him wanting to you know go into the military possibly or <clears throat> I don't know, follow in one of his foot, his parents' footsteps or something. But I do imagine him being a pretty popular kid and everybody coming over to hang out here. That was not my house when I was growing up. I never had anybody come stay with me in my house. It was just so boring. There was absolutely nothing to do. But throughout my school years, I had a few different friends where we all just love to go hang out at their house they had a ton of stuff to do their parents are really cool and it was big enough to fit all my friends uh like i said opposite of my house <laughs> but I, I do hope that in the future i can have a house like that for my family i've always wanted you know once i had a family for my house to kind of be the to-go spot um I want my kids' friends to feel welcome here. I want them to come hang out here. If they need anything, I want them to come here. And honestly, I would just rather my kids be at home. I want them to feel safe here. I want them to feel like it's okay. Um, you know, I just I want them to be here rather than somewhere else where I can't watch them and, you know, them sneaking around and doing stuff. Um... So, yeah, I don't know. I've always kind of <laughs> dreamed that one day, like I said, I would have a house kind of like this where it's kind of the go-to spot. But anyways, here we are in the study room, which I love this room. I think it's because of the color scheme. I love that rug. I've never used it in that color, and it's got the gold in it that's kind of throughout the rest of the house, like creamy golden beige. Um, then I have the red and the pop of blue with the curtains. It fits this style house so nicely. I think it is so, so pretty. And I just, I love how this room turned out. Um, I was going to put like a calendar above the desk. But I just feel like I do that over every desk. Literally, I'm running out of things to do over desk. <laughs> I always either put the little <laughs> bulletin board with the little post-its that's already you know comes on the board or i either get the little cork board and put the little postcards from um hidden objects on it 
add a calendar, but I just felt like I needed to do something different. So I ended up just putting a nice picture there and I gave them a chess table and I did give them a treadmill just because I imagine, like I said, that the son is pretty active and probably the mom, she likes to stay fit and healthy herself and maybe the dad, I don't know. But I do think uh, most families have a treadmill or some kind of workout equipment. I know that we've always had some kind of workout equipment in my family's house, even in my grandparents' house. Even though it just ended up being a coat rack, we never used it. But still, you know, some people actually use it. And I definitely imagine this family kind of being a little bit more uh, fit, I guess you would say. I don't know. But anyways, this is the master bedroom, which is probably my second favorite room in the house. <laughs> I love how this turned out with the color scheme of the bed. And I did have the walls green, but like you see, or saw, I did change it to the more orange color to bring out the orangish colored in the, in the bed. And I was, okay, well I did it off camera because I was going to include the floor plan, but this is a long build, so I was trying to make it, um, not as long. <laughs> I was trying to save y'all a little bit of time. So anyways, I cut the floor plan out, but I did try to include closets in these bedrooms because y'all know me, I love to have closets. I just think it adds to the realism of the game. I just think they look so nice because you know, most houses and most rooms have closets. Uh, but anyways, if you know, you can't fit a closet in. It's really not that big of a deal. Just put a freaking chest or drawer or whatever in. Sometimes I just take this game too serious, but <laughs> anyways, I wasn't able to fit it in because the rooms were just kind of like weird shape. Well, not weird shape, but it just didn't look good with the closet. So anyways, I didn't include those, but I do love how this room turned out with like the chest or drawer. And then I gave the mom a vanity um, and a bookshelf. I just think the color scheme of it, it just flows so nicely. And then this, and then, 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 then how many times did I just say? And then, 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 then. yeah, I'm starting to ramble. We're getting to that point. <laughs> but anyways, this is the master ensuite bathroom, which was kind of like odd shaped. And I was like, what am I going to do with it? But I absolutely love how it turned out. I used these sinks, which I never used, but I think they fit nicely with the aesthetic of this house. So I did kind of use the same layout and furniture and um, not electronics, plumbing in all of the bathrooms, same wallpaper and flooring. I, I tend to do that sometimes. Maybe sometimes in the kids' bedroom, I'll kind of like mix it up, make it a little bit more kiddish. But uh, for this house, I kind of kept it the same. And I love, which in case you haven't noticed, I've done this a lot, but I love to use that little stool and then put a little plant on it. I thought it looked so cute there in the bathroom. I've been doing that a lot in builds, but it's, it's so cute. <laughs> and here we are into the I'm getting out of breath. <laughs> We're into the older teenager's room, uh, the sun, and I use the jungle bed. Like I said, I use a lot of the jungle adventure stuff. So, yeah, my bad if you don't have this pack. I don't really limit myself in my builds, and so far nobody's really complained about it. I've seen some people in the gallery, they're like, wow, that's a lot of packs. Too bad I don't have them all, and I'm like, sorry. <laughs> but I don't like to be limited, okay? I, I paid money for all these packs. Um, My, my heart on... <coughs> I can't even talk. I'm coughing now. Okay. Let me try that again. My hard-earned money on these packs, uh, so I, I like to use all the stuff in them. <laughs> so I don't really like to limit myself, so I'm sorry. But if you want to see me do more limited builds, let me know. It's kind of a challenge, and I'm down for a challenge. But I haven't really had anybody complain about it. Most people just like to, you know, watch speed builds and just get inspiration. That's what I like to do. But anyways, I love his room. I love the shape of it. And you'll see I kind of rearrange um, the room in just a second. I end up taking his little closet area and putting it over there on that wall. I'm putting the little game thing on because I really wanted him to have a desk and I realized, oops, I didn't, I didn't give him a desk. I do like to have desk and bookshelves in my child, my child, my children in teenage room. So they kind of have a place to do their homework 
and you know I gave him a laptop so he's a little bit older so you know I imagine that you know most kids these days obviously have laptops so uh, he can play his games and whatnot but anyways and I did put a couch there and a little punching bag just to like take up some space and I did give him like a little TV there so you can watch the TV from the couch in his room which I thought was really cool because like I said he probably is very popular and has a lot of friends and look how cool his room is I'm sure they come in there all the time and gather around and like watch TV you could probably add a gaming console yeah I should have done that because it is his room but I ended up leaving that in the family room just because you know it's a lot more seating and I'm sure the parents wouldn't mind if their kids friends came over and kind of you know just took over the place you know I feel like they're those kind of parents like the more the merrier come on in <laughs> you know they have their room and their study if they want to get away from the kids but anyways here is the last bedroom and this is furnished for a little girl I ended up making it like very pink pink and purple as you can see but I really really love that bed and I love that color swatch and I did use the same wallpaper throughout the house in case you can't tell it's kind of got like the little stone at the bottom there so I only had so many options for like a kids room and pink was one of them so I kind of go back and forth on the swatches but I did settle with that purple and then also I realized I did it all did it off camera, but in the boys' bedroom that I just furnished, um, I used the wrong wallpaper. Well, it's the same wallpaper, but I used the wrong color swatch. I've been using the white base, you know, see the white there at the top and the bottom throughout the house. But in his, I gave him the wood on accident. But before I ended up, well, I haven't uploaded to the gallery. But once I was taking the screenshots and realized it, I did change it. So it's got like the white trim instead of the wood, which it's the same color and everything. So it's not that big of a deal. But anyways, her room was... <laughs> Mm, that's cute turned out cute but it's just like so rectangle and it was kind of odd because I was trying to give her like a Chester drawer or drawer area so she can change and everything and I just cluttered it up with the school projects which you can get and I don't know if that's deep no that's hidden objects yeah they're really cute to add to kids rooms and I gave her the little activity board there I believe I put a lunch box and a um, what is that? Like a piggy bank, but a, a piggy llama, piggy unicorn, whatever that is. I think that turned out really cute. And I did give her a desk, so I didn't have a lot of room to give her a lot of toys um, or to clutter her room up a lot. I didn't want it to look super duper cluttered, but nonetheless, I still think it turned out really cute. I always size down those, um, Oh my gosh what do you call them doll houses because they're so massive they're so big which don't get me wrong they do have big doll houses these days I had plenty of big dream Barbie houses but <laughs> for the Sims and these small rooms it looks the same they play with them the same way if you you know go ahead and size it down just a little fun fact and here is their bathroom it's kind of like a Jack and Jill bathroom so the only way to get to it is through their bedroom so they share it and like I said I did copy the same wallpaper and flooring pretty much same plumbing everything from the um, guest bathroom and the ensuite bathroom um, I was thinking against it just because I was like this is so fancy compared to their rooms but I don't know it's okay I think it turned out nice anyways it's really different like the floor plan of it like the, the shape of this bathroom is different but I do like how it turned out anyways this is a wrap I got through the voiceover you know without rambling too much I mean I rambled but you know what's new anyways if you like this house be sure to give it a big thumbs up it's available for download on the gallery comment what you want to see below and yeah subscribe if you haven't with that being said i love y'all and i'll talk to y'all later bye mm -hmm.